The shop has changed a lot, obviously, since Dad's day. That's been 73, since 1973. But where I'm sitting, basically, is where Dad sat. And this was his workstation on this side. Uh, he had a table out front that he would do back designs or leg designs on. My name is Muriel Collins, and my father is Norman Keith Collins, more famously known as Sailor Jerry, the tattoo artist. We're in Chinatown, Honolulu, in the old Ironside Tattoo Shop, formerly known as Sailor Jerry's. The wall behind me is uh, a patchwork of a lot of Dad's uh, original work, some of which is not for polite consumption. <laughs> it's of an era from the war years, the World War II years. Very distinctive artwork, uh, very different from what people do today. One he's known for um, is a, a monkey whose butt shows the word aloha. <laughs> His women are very voluptuous, pointy-toed, uh, always standing in a, a, a posture uh, like a beauty uh, queen. He would do some oriental designs, but mostly the old-fashioned blonde, American blonde with the flip hair. Tigers and uh, eagles and dragons and uh, all kinds of art, animals, you know, different kinds of animals. My dad's was the best, it was the best. Uh, of the work I've seen and compared with it, um, I like his work, I like the fine, uh, distinct lines, you know, the nice shading and so forth in his work. And you can tell a Sailor Jerry tattoo when you see it, you know it. Sitting here, I can, I can feel dad, literally, that's a very trite expression, but I can feel him. I can sense him working, sitting here with his cigarette cough, um, working on a design, either drawing or cleaning needles, working over the sink, looking at his flash, or working with the stencils. I, can, I remember all of that, and I can, I can really sense him being here. It's a good feeling. His tattoo life and family life were separate. We knew what he did um, when I was in high school. He paid me $2 a day to come down and clean the shop, so I knew his work. Uh, I saw his work, but only here in the shop. At home, he was a typical father, come home after a long day at work, because he worked nights a lot, so he'd come home and, and sleep. We lived on a boat when I was young. That was kind of a natural thing for Dad, because boats were his thing. Now, this is a, a Dennis the Menace comic, and the artist who draws Dennis the Menace actually took a, a trip on Dad's uh, boat where he was doing shoreline cruises and Pearl Harbor cruises. The boat was named the Oina. Uh, Dad was the captain, and they made a fictitious story here of the adventure. He was an artist, he was a narrator, he was on the radio show, KTRG Radio. Old Ironsides was his moniker. He was a family man, more by default, I think, than uh, actual uh, intent. <laughs> it is amazing. I've uh, run into people all over town. If I see ink, I ask them if any of it is Sailor Jerry, and every single person I've talked to will raise their sleeve or raise their skirt or whatever and show me if they have Sailor Jerry ink. Everyone in town who has ink recognizes the name. I'm proud of the fact that his legacy and his artwork is being continued. It's still out there. Everybody sees it, everybody uses it. His life was tattooing, and his life was design, expressing himself, not to be famous, but because he was good at it, and it made him happy to do that. Mm -hmm.